Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a really cool video. Today I thought I would do a live swatching lipstick test of the Primark lipsticks that they kindly sent me today. I have all of the lipstick collection I believe, if not I will link the ones I have missing down below. So I have 13 lipstick shades here to show you, though let's begin. So from the get-go I'm already wearing one of the shades here, this one is called Toast and this is the Luster finish. Now there's two different finishes from these lipsticks, there's Luster and then there's Mattes. There's two different finishes of these lipsticks. Now I absolutely love the packaging for these, they are colour coordinated compared to the actual bullet of the lipstick. So automatically you will identify which colour is which, which I absolutely love and I think that is amazing they've done that. Instead of having a generic black or a white tube and you have to try and guess and open each individual lid and try and see which colour it is. It already shows you from the get-go this is the shade so it's easier to recognise and grab and go. So I love that. I believe these are the core lipstick collection but don't quote me. I think that's where it's from. So again, love the packaging. Packaging is an A plus for me. I'm all about packaging. So I'm just going to pick out the nudes and see how many nudes there is in this collection. So as far as nudes, there is four in this collection. So these are the four nudes right here. Some of them look very similar, so it'll be very interesting to see how different they are. And then as for purpley tones, there is three purpley toned lipsticks. And then as for pinks, there is three pink toned lipsticks. And then there is three others here. This one is more of a coral shade. And then there is more of an orangey toned lipstick and then a red lipstick. So these ones are the other three. So they're all the colours in the lipstick collection. Now I want to go through the pricing. So the Luster Finish lipsticks are 90p and the matte lipsticks are £1.50. So they're a little bit more expensive than the Lusters. I believe that's because of the pigmentation but we'll soon find out. So far I've tried out this one which is Toast and this is the Luster Finish. This one's really nice because it has a nice shine to it. It's easy to apply because it just glides on the lips really really smooth and very velvety soft. And it has a really nice shine to it. This one is a little bit more sheer because it is a luster finish. Exactly the same sort of texture as a MAC luster finish lipstick. So again, I like that. But I do prefer my matte lipsticks if I'm honest. But this one is a lovely colour and it's perfect for an everyday, everyday sort of look. So I do love this one. This one is toast. So next I have the shade Naked and this one is a matte lipstick. So this will be the first matte lipstick I've tried. And it is the same as the bullet again. So let's swatch this on. This one is a very true nude. If this was slightly a bit lighter, I probably wouldn't be able to pull it off. But again, this one is really pretty toned and I think for my shade, this just about suits me. And this one is in the shade Naked. Next we have another luster finish lipstick and this one is in the shade Barely There. So I'm just going to swatch this one. This one is Barely There. I feel like this is more wearable than the other nude which was matte. This one has a subtle shine to this so it looks a bit more, I don't know, wearable. So I do like this one. Again, this one is Barely There. Move it on to another matte. This one is in the shade Almost There. So we had Barely There and now Almost There. Again, this one is slightly darker than the original nude matte. So I think this one is slightly more pink toned. So let's try this one. This one is definitely more pinky toned, which I prefer, and again, I think this one suits me so much more than the original matte nude. I really do love this one, and I think this is the one I would reach for more from the original one. So this one is almost there. So now I'm going to move into the more purpley toned lipsticks. This is the one I think is the lightest one out of the three, and this is a matte finish, and this is called Tickle. So far I've been loving the mattes, and I love the lustres, but I think the mattes, I don't know, just more creamier, so I'm going to apply this one. This one is a very pretty colour, it's a lot darker than what I was imagining, but again, it's a really pretty pink. And this one is a matte finish, so it does feel very creamy when you're applying it, and yeah, I really do like that. So the finish of this, I love. This one is called Tickle. 
Okay, so moving on, we have another matte lipstick. This one is in the shade Vintage Rose. I'm loving the color of this one already. This one is definitely one of my favourites so far. I really love the colour of this one. It's very mumsy colour but with that punch of pink to it as well which I really love. So this one is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one of my favourites and this one is called Vintage Rose. Okay so the last of the purple tones is another luster and this one is in the shade Rosewood Mauve. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch this one. Oh my god, I'm absolutely in love with this one. I definitely recommend this one over the last one. Glided on so well. I absolutely love the pigmentation of this one. Really, really nice. And the pigmentation for this luster is actually really good. So I do recommend this one. So this one was Rosewood Mauve. Okay, so now moving on to the pink tone lipsticks. Again, you know the drill, starting with the lighter toned. Again, this one is a luster finish. And this one is in the shade Cupcake. So I already love the name, so let's just swatch this one. So this is what Cupcake looks like and this one reminds me of Max Saint Germain. I really like it. Max Saint Germain I believe is a matte finish. This one is a luster and I feel like I can pull this one off more because it is a luster and it has that slight sheen. If this was matte I probably wouldn't wear it because it would be too, too garish I think. But this one is really nice and this is more wearable. This one is Cupcake. Again this one is a luster finish and this one is in the shade I Dare You. This one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this one off, so let's just swatch it. Okay, so this is I Dare You, and this is very bright. Um, I don't think I can pull this one off, if I'm being honest. If this is your type of lipstick then all for you but for me I don't think I can pull this off so this is probably not my favourite um, but it is a nice colour it's just not me. Throughout the whole collection so far I think this is the one I just wouldn't wear. <laughs> so this one is in the shade I Dare You. So so far out of all the lipsticks that last one did stain my lips quite a lot. Let's move on to the next one. This one is a matte finish and this one is called Bombshell. Again very very bright so let's just see how this swatches. Okay, so this one is like neon pink and I just don't think it's me at all. Um, but this one does, again, remind me a lot of MAC Saint Germain. This one is more like that one because it is matte. But it does have that very, very similar texture and, you know, applies the same way. This one I had to go back and forth quite a lot of times because it's not as pigmented as the luster one. But this one is still a nice colour if it's your sort of thing. For me, it's just not. But it is a lovely colour other than that. This is very Barbie-ish and if you like that sort of thing, this would be perfect for you. So this one is Bombshell. Now I'm going to move on to the last three lipsticks, which is the coral and the orange and the red. So I'm going to start off with the coral, why not? This one is a luster finish and this is in the shade Bright Coral. So let's give this one a whirl. Ooh. This one doesn't really appear to be coral, it's more pinky I think um, and this one is tingling my lips a lot. <laughs> I don't know if this one has different type of ingredients or what but this one is really really tingly so I don't know if that's meant to happen or if it's meant to have like a plumping effect but it is very tingly on the lips. Um, so I'd say this is more pinky toned and it is very sheer, um, it's not as pigmented as the rest so just bear that in mind. So this one is called Bright Coral, it's not as bright as I wanted it to be and it's not really as true coral as I was expected so that is Bright Coral. Next we have the orange tone lipstick, I'm really excited about this one. 
and this one is in the shade Limbo. Again, this one is a matte finish. Okay, so this one I absolutely love. I love orange lipsticks. And this one reminds me a lot of the Max lipstick in Morange. Such a pretty colour. And I love punches of orange like this. It's such a beautiful colour. Really love how pigmented this one is. And it's really creamy as well. And yeah, very comfortable on my lips. So this one is in the shade Limbo. And then last but not least is a red lipstick. This one is a Lustre finish. And this is in the shade Salsa. Oh my god, this is my favourite one out of all of them. This is so pretty. This one reminds me so much of like Marilyn Monroe, pin-up classic Hollywood Red. I absolutely love this one. It's so pigmented for a luster finish. I love that. And it's just so creamy. It glides on beautifully. I mean, this is a really nice lipstick. So this one is in the shade Salsa. Definitely one of my favourites, if not the favourite. So that was all the lipsticks live swatched for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't done a lip swatching video like this in a long, long time. And my lips are throbbing right now. So pray for me because I'm going to put loads and loads of lip balm on. <laughs> I want to say a huge thank you to Primark for sending me these lipsticks to try and review for you guys. I am so impressed with the quality of these. I love the packaging, the finish, the names of them are amazing as well. The prices are affordable but amazing too. So I'm very, very highly impressed and I definitely would recommend this lipstick collection. Let me know down below which is your favourite lipstick. I have to go with this red one. Amazing. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload and I will see you next time. Bye guys.